Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medico's Hub. In this video on ultra filtration in GFR, I am going to discuss about the filtration coefficient. We have discussed in the previous lecture that GFR mainly depends upon two factors that is pressure gradients and the filtration coefficient. We have discussed about the pressure gradients in the previous lecture and in this lecture I am going to discuss about the filtration coefficient. This is basically a product of glomerular capillary wall permeability and the effective filtration surface area. It represents the size of capillary bag. So first one is glomerular capillary wall permeability. We know that the glomerular capillaries are highly permeable. In comparison to the capillaries of skeletal muscles, these are 50 times more permeable. The filtration or the permeability depends upon molecular size. If the molecular size is less than 4 nanometer, it is freely filtered while if it is greater than 8 nanometer, it is not filtered. If molecular weight is more than 10,000 Daltons, it is not filtered or it's, it is restrictedly filtered and if it is less than 10,000 Daltons, then it is freely filtered. Then shape, if a particular molecule is, of, is having large molecular weight and its shape is elongated, then also it may be filtered. But if it is globular with high molecular weight, it is not filtered. Then electrostatic charge. We should know that the glomerular capillary wall is negatively charged because of the presence of negatively charged cellular proteins and that will not allow the negatively charged particles to go through it. So the negatively charged particles or anions are least permeable through the capillary wall. So we can say that cations can pass more easily in comparison to the neutral particles and anions are least permeable. This is the reason why the albumin which is a negatively charged protein doesn't enter the glomerular filtrate. Now the capillary bed size or the effective filtration surface area, it basically depends on the activity of mesangial cells. Now mesangial cells basically cover the capillaries like this. If these show contraction, then the intercellular spaces between the endothelial cells will be reduced. As a result, the filtration area is reduced and GFR will also reduce. The vice versa will increase the GFR. So if the mesangial cells show contraction, then the filtration area reduce and the GFR will reduce. While if these so relaxation then filtration area between the endothelial cells will increase and as a result GFR will also increase. So those substances which result in contraction of mesangial cells and finally reduce the GFR are 
प्लेटलेट डिराइव ग्रोथ फैक्टर एडीएच देन प्लेटलेट एक्टिवेशन फैक्टर देन प्रोस्टाग्लैंडेन एफ पीजीएफ टू देन एंजियोटेंसन टू देर आफ्टर नॉर इपिनेफ्रिन एंडोथिलेंस ल्यूकोट्राइन्स थ्रोम्बोक्सेन एंड द हिस्टमिन so these chemicals result in contraction of mesangial cells finally resulting in decrease in gfr while those chemicals which result in relaxation of mesangial cells are nitric oxide atrial natriuretic peptide bradykinins cyclic amp then dopamine and prostaglandin e2 so these are the various factors affecting the glomerular capillary wall permeability and the size of capillary bag hit the like button share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications